tidy home, nomies. Well, a few weeks ago, one of our friends lives up north, Old Dusty from Dusty Bottom Boys. Well, he took his camp stove, and he had some issues with it. He tore it down, fixed it, put it back together, worked great. Well, hey Nomies, when this video's over, how about going over there and checking out Dusty's channel? Links down there in the bottoms. He'd appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe while you're there. And tell him Nomies sent you. Alright, let's check out how he took his apart. We'll learn something. Check it out. Well, that was a little bit of inspiration for us because we got one of those, but we use it on the daily. Let me get propane. And for about two years now, I've neglected the thing and it's got pretty dirty. So thanks to Dusty and a little bit of inspiration, we're going to take this old camp stove, which is our regular cooking stove. <laughs> it's pretty nasty and we're gonna tear it down clean it up fix it up put it back to use so there you go let's do it all right Naomi's first things first I'm gonna take this thing apart get it soaking get some of this crud off of here and get this thing back to usable now this is a Cheap old cat, uh, Coleman wood stove. Try it, cheers. It doesn't have an electric ignition on it or anything. Um, but it works great. It's been working fine for a couple years. It's just dirty. So, first thing we gotta do is pull these screws out of the bottoms. See if we can get these burners out. Oh, we don't wanna lose that. All right, let's see where it went. That one's giving us a little bit of trouble. Let's find some vice grips. There we go. Them little tiny screws just stripped right out first turn. Let's see if this will work. Oh yeah, it'll come out this way. Ta-da! We better put these in a safe place. Alright. Let's see what that did for us. Okay. Well, that got all that out of the way. Let's get this into the sink and soak it. Maybe. Maybe. 
You know what? We're gonna get these off. We need to find ourselves a pair of needle nose though. Because there's a little if you can see there's a little clippy do underneath there. Oh, there we go. A little clippy do underneath there. And uh we're gonna have to get that off. Alright, got ourselves some needle nose here. Quiet! You're not helping. Alright. Like I said, we got ourselves some needle nose here. And we gotta get in here. I'll hold this from the other side. We can show you what we're doing here. Hopefully. I'm not sure. Oh, that needs to be spread. All right, I'm gonna have to go out to the garage and get some, uh, I don't know what they call them. Well, I know what they call them. But I just can't think of it right now. But we gotta be able to spread that apart to get that open, so we'll be right back. Snap ring pliers, that's what we needed. All right. See if we can get this apart now. If we can get these in here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Tch, that made it so much easier. You know, if I would have been paying closer attention to Dusty's video, I would have known to take them off first. Nope. Oh. Sorry, Dusty. I'll pay better attention next time. Now we can get our snap ring pliers in here. Maybe. If they'll fit in the holes. They fit in one of the holes. I did not make this for coming apart. That's a fact. Ah, there we go. We got one off. Tell you what, taking them off makes it a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, there we go. We got them. We got them off. Let's take this inside. We're gonna get this soaking, get this stuff all cleaned up, and uh, put it back together. All right, now we've got a couple other things we can take off here so we can get this part soaking. And it's mainly these valves here. I got the knobs pulled off. It looks like there's just two little nuts. Hold these on. See if we can get them loosened up. Might have to get a wrench. Ah! Stand by. There we go. That worked. Pull that off. Don't lose it. Pull that off. Don't lose it. Flip it over. And we got three screws right here. Can you see those three screws? Uh oh! Yikes! Where was I? Alright. Three screws right there. They gotta come out next. Voila! There's our valve. Set them aside. Let's get this part soaking. All right, Nomies. Here's everything all cleaned up. As good as we can. That came out pretty good. It's got some hard crusties on it because it just got cooked on real good. We had some oven cleaner. We'll probably get that off, but I'm not worried about it. And uh, all our parts there. So what we're gonna do with this here anyway? 
keep it from getting as grungy as it did. I'm gonna wrap that in foil. So, let me get you set up on the tree pod. We'll get this wrapped up and we'll start putting this thing back together. All right, let's clear some of this stuff out of the way so we don't drop it and lose it. Let's get this thing wrapped. Open. Ooh, it's barely going to be wide enough. But, it'll work. Not bad. Poke our holes in here. Look at that. Beautiful. And that'll keep us a lot cleaner for next time. Alright. Let's put this thing back together. And uh yeah, if we run into any trouble, we'll get back with you. But until then, crack up the beat. Better. One clip back on. Ta-da! Don't get back on. Something ain't right. <laughs> I gotta flip this around. What? <laughs> Let's try that. Ta-da! And last but not least... There you go. Brand new refurbished Coleman cook stove. Thanks Dusty for the inspiration. I think there's one other thing I want to do. I found these. And if we put those around there, maybe that'll catch a lot more of the stuff. And uh, won't be as dirty next time. Huh? There we go. Brand new Coleman refurbished cook stove. Beautiful. Yep. Don't forget the knob jobs. Look, 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 look. She's good as new. Yeah, she is. Good as new. Never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. I'm a gnome, he's a gnome, she's a gnome, you're a gnome, wouldn't you like to be a gnome? Put your comment down on the bottom. Click the subscribe down on the bottom. Click the like button down on the bottom. I make a comment down on the bottom. Peace out.